Once you're logged into WebEx Teams app on your Mac, it's time to begin creating spaces where you can meet with your students and other colleagues. To begin, we click the plus button located just to the right of search. If we're just contacting one person, we'd click contact a person. But if we're going to create a space where two or more people can meet, we click create a space. Create a space works for 90% of the teaching staff in the school district of Waukesha. It's a simple place where each of your classes can meet. If you have more than one hour of students, so for instance, if you teach English 9 over three periods, it's recommended that you create a space for each period so you can send specific updates to the students in each period, updates that may not apply to students in the other periods. I'm going to click Create a Space. I'll name mine. Then we can begin to add people. While you may have a bulk of people to add, it is recommended that you simply take the time to add them one by one. Notice you can add people by name or by email. If you have a roster that you can copy and paste from, you can one by one copy the email into this area, just as I'm doing here. You cannot bulk copy and paste though in this area. When you're all set to begin, you can click Create. Let's show you around your new space. Any messages that you create can be written in the Messages tab. The people enrolled in your space are located under the People tab. To add more people, click Add People, search for them, and click Add. If there's content within your space, you can click the Content button. And if you want to schedule a meeting, you can do so by clicking on Space Information and scheduling a meeting. And that's how you set up a space within WebEx Teams.